synths not eat your heart out. Today it's all about punk rock art valentines for the love that you've got that's a bit of a rocker and like something with a bit of the edge. But isn't this jacket just unbelievable? I think now having worn it for about the last five seconds that you'd be as safe as safe wearing one of these if some bloke came at you with a beer bottle trying to make a swing at you because you can hardly move your arms. In fact, on that note, I think I have to take it off. But isn't it great? My son made this. I'm really proud of him. And you would never believe that 10 years later he wouldn't be seen dead in one of these. But anyway, let's just get rid of that. Oh my goodness, that's perfect. Right, you need a canvas, you need a little bit of baking paper, you need one of these, I love this, it's like Guns N' Roses, that's what I should have said I was, Guns N' Roses, dressed in black, but I wasn't, I had colour on. And you also need to take yourself off, and this is called uh, Melrose Ave, and they are part of the Simplicity range, and what they are is these amazing, amazing, amazing pieces of art that transfer from here onto any type of fabric. Well today I'm going to transfer them on using the iron onto the canvas there and all when you open them all instructions everything that you should need to know and more and it tells me here that I have to preheat to a dry uh, iron that means take the steam off and I need it to be set to a high heat and I need to iron each ply uh, heat for 20 to 25 seconds to transfer it from that bit of paper onto there. So to B again, get your canvas and then you have to iron this from the wrong side. So once you've got your image and you've unrolled it, what you need to do is to fix it, find your middle, and then you put that down like so. Then as I said, 20 to 25 seconds, you do not want any steam on this at all, and you need to gently just apply the heat. Don't push too hard because you will distort the top of the canvas. But anyway, just keep going until that transfers off, which it's starting to do there. See that little bit there, how it's just starting? Well, you just keep applying the heat and applying the heat until it comes from there onto there. Now, with the magic of television, I've actually already prepared it for you because there's a few little things that I need to share with you. Right, here is one that I have done and the other thing I needed to tell you is that get a piece of masking tape and when you actually put it onto the canvas just put a little bit of masking tape maybe there and there so that you can lift it backwards and forwards and when you try it you're tr transferring that image it stays perfectly. Now you'll also notice that I've got this really dark bit here and I've got the lighter bits in there. That has been as a result of the fact that I didn't leave enough heat on it at the time. As I said 20-25 seconds. Now the other thing that I've got here is talking about my Guns and Roses. These are fantastic and on the back side of them they've got a stickiness, on, they've got a sort of like a rubberized stickiness. Well it's not sticky but it's rubberized. So all you do with that is you just put that onto your canvas and then get a piece of baking paper and then you just apply the heat and it's exactly the same and um, re requirements of fusing it and it will tell you on the back of the pack how long to do it. Right, when you have a look at this here, let me just turn this around so that you can see it. I love it, it's like a dirty big old tattoo, isn't it? It's fabulous. Now you can also buy other images and I love this foil and it's done exactly the same but when you're transferring it down, you need to put the baking always put the baking paper down and make sure you're doing it properly and when you're checking just lift it back like that to make sure that it is down. Now once you have transferred it from the paper especially with the foil you need to leave it until it cools and then pull the paper back otherwise it won't come off so just let it cool. Right from there the next thing I wanted to show you was I pre-made this heart, this heart ages and ages ago. I keep saying heart because I've got a big music exam tomorrow and I haven't done my practice but I will as soon as we've done this. So I've just got this heart that I have covered with leaves at the back and then I put all the little roses over the top and what I thought would be really nice is to use that and then you could just put some glue around there, put that onto there. I would use PVA glue, don't use the hot glue because sometimes what happens with the hot glue when you put it onto the canvas it distorts it but how about that and the other thing is you could perhaps get a, a big dear old black biro and you could put two Snid, Sid, Frost, Snot, 
perfect, perfect, perfect. I love it. It's got attitude and it's fantastic. I hope you have enjoyed this. It's just another idea for those of you out there looking for something for Valentine's. Thank you for watching and I will see you another day. Thank you.